Three, two, one, say action. Action. Action, okay. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's the weekend and not much going on. That's right, action. And we're here at the pool. We're gonna do some real world testing with the EOS R5, just some motion to test out the autofocus. And uh, so I'm gonna test on these little beauties as they were jumping in and out of the pool. So, thanks to my friend Ivana for lending us her pool for the day. I'll put a link to her work in the description. And we're gonna go, we're gonna go get in the pool now. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, hi YouTube. <laughs> So it's about 90 degrees here in Orlando and I'm shooting outside for the last couple of hours and I haven't had any overheating issues. I haven't really been pushing the camera too much shooting in 8K or in 4K 120 because, well, I don't have a CF Express card slot. So it is a little bit of a bummer not to be able to have access to those functions. But so far, I think that this is a really good test of the in-body image stabilization and of the focus tracking. And both are working really, really well. I'm especially blown away by the in-body image stabilization. To be able to handhold tracking and moving shots without you know, having to get out a big rig to, to stabilize it, it's gonna be incredibly useful in production. So, gonna get some more shots of the kids running around and jumping in the pool and stuff, and uh, I'll share those with you. So uh, continue to enjoy the video. Taking a few risks with my camera a little bit close to the water, the IBIS allowed me to handhold just about every shot that I wanted, even out to 200 millimeters, and uh, that's never been able to be done with a Canon DSLR before. I really love how good it is. I did have problems with the wobble, which you'll see from some of the test footage. So with my 16 to 35, I zoomed into 20 millimeters and that seemed to cut out most of the problem. We did lose tracking on the faces sometimes in this really high contrast situation. And as far as that's concerned, the C-Log was able to mitigate a lot of that and get some really good clean footage, even with the huge, huge difference in range in the scene. So all in all, the video test has been really, really good. Um, and you know, I'm not even a video expert. I'm just learning how to do all this stuff as I go with this camera. And so um, as I do more, I'll share more with you. But so far, it's got some pretty impressive features. I'm definitely gonna have to get some neutral density filters so that I can shoot at a more shallow depth of field when I'm out in a situation like this. So all in all, really enjoying the experience, just learning how to do it, making sure I get good audio, clean video, and uh, keeping track of these uh, baby sharks in the water. Hi, come on in. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Say subscribe to the channel. No. No? <laughs> come on, come on, tell, tell everybody to subscribe to the channel. No. Tell them. No. Can you at least tell them to like the video? No. Can you tell them to leave a comment if they have any questions? No. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> okay, now say subscribe to the channel. No. Well, um, subscribe to the channel, I guess. All right, thanks for watching. See you later. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>